show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by STD, spreading open sores, warts, and body lice for over three millennia. And now, say hello to your host, Guy Towers. All right, welcome. So, uh, you're the boob they said was coming to play, huh? <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> You know, it's a long journey to the bottom. You gotta expect to get a little sick along the way. Ready? All right. Hey, looks good to me. And this one's called... A Plague Upon You. Okie doke. Hey, remember that movie The Omega Man where everyone dies of a plague and Charlton Heston is supposedly the last man on Earth? <laughs> well... If the Omega Man wants to leave his mark, which symbol should he graffiti on the abandoned buildings? Uh, this thing, uh, that thingy, uh, this one, or that one? That's the Omega Man. It would be tough for Chuck to survive if he were the last man on Earth, but he'd be alright if he stuck to his guns. Hold that buzzer, let's see how much get ready for. El Nino plagued the ancient Egyptians, too. All right, pull on your slickers and complete the following sequence. Rivers turn to blood, frogs, lice, flies, death of livestock, blank, 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 darkness, death of all firstborn. Uh, what's missing from this list? Boils, hail, locusts, grasshoppers, drought, wind, rain, mudslides, flooding, or bad hair, chip nails, runs, and stockings. The ten plagues of Egypt included boils, hail, and locusts. And when the eleventh plague that was disco came upon the land, the people of Egypt sang, It's raining men. Hallelujah! How much cash? We All right, some good cash riding on this one. And the category is... You poor sick bastard. Oh no, your doctor just called. You might be contagious, so uh, you're going to have to be quarantined. Considering the period of time quarantine actually means, who or what might you expect to share your sickbed? A Mardi Gras crew, all of Noah's animals, Jesus resurrected, or lost Israelites? Nah, sharing a bed with Jesus is no fun. He always hogs the shroud. Huh, maybe you didn't see this one. Will you shut up? I'm sick! Come on! Quarantine means 40 days. And after 40 days in bed with all those animals, you may no longer be infectious, but I'll bet you'd be feeling pretty dirty. Alright, smack. This one'll be... Sending a big shout-out to Pasteur. All right, what do we got here? Hey, 5,164 smackers. Well, are we ready? Suppose there were an ad campaign commemorating the three vaccines developed by milk processing legend Louis Pasteur. Which of these would not be the slogan? Got anthrax, got chicken pox, got cholera, or got rabies? Anthrax? No, but I got some Jim Croce on me. Hey, you want a party? Uh, in case you're wondering... Got chicken pox? Yeah, thanks to Louis Pasteur. I mean, I don't know anybody who's had anthrax, cholera, or rabies, you know, but everyone gets chicken pox. You know, why the hell didn't he work on that, huh? Useless microbiologist. Hit that. The category is... Sparkling water with a twist of Lyme disease. Here's the question. Which superhero would angry mobs most likely blame for a Lyme disease epidemic? Spider-Man, Super Chicken, The Tick, or Underdog? The Tick could be blamed for an outbreak of Lyme disease. And his sidekick Arthur would become despondent and fly into the porch light. Tickle your butt. There was a god who sent ten plagues and frogs were one of them, oh. F-R-O-G-S, F-R-O-G-S, and frogs were one of them, oh. Hop on into frogs. Don't forget, buzz in on the first letter of the correct answer to win the cash. If you get all five letters, you, my friend, get the cash. Let's go. They're not big pox. Yeah, small pox. 
One, three, five, seven, nine. That counts. Sound of fraud mates. Gigantic movie lizard. Godzilla! Come on, one more letter for the bonus. Cartoon rub blank. Rugrats. Howdy doody face. Red hair and what? Freckle. Got it. Frogs. You got the bonus. All right, get a load of you. Ah, uh, let's keep going. All right, buzz in and let's see. This one's called the junk food junkie look is in. Okie doke. Listen up and buzz in to type the answer when you can tell me. I've got the fever for the flavor of a what? Run with it. Type your answer and hit return. Well, you're wrong, but at least you're not attractive. Ah, <laughs> uh, too bad you didn't type this. I've got the fever for the flavor of a Pringle. Because, you know, once I popped, I couldn't stop. You know, I tried to stop, but I, I couldn't. I, oh, God, I couldn't stop. How much will the... There you go. Nice. Okay, here's your category. He put his finger in the dike? Hey, you know that little Dutch boy who was a hero for sticking his finger in a hole in a dike? <laughs> yeah, he still hasn't heard the end of that one. Well, if the little Dutch boy came down with Dutch elm disease, which childish taunt would bother him the most? Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm rubber and you're glue. There's a fungus among us. Or whoever smelt it, dealt it. Dutch elm disease is a fungus that kills off trees. But if you really want to make the little Dutch boy cry, tell him that he's going to be a fatty, fatty two by four. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. And for your viewing pleasure, the postman always leaves the wrong package twice. Okay, suppose your mail carrier has messed up and left somebody else's delivery on your stoop. I know it's crazy, but just imagine it for a second. If this is what the label on the box says, who is this package supposed to go to? Aphrodite, Electra, Hera, or Pandora? Zeus gave Pandora a special box, but told her not to open it, lest all the evils of the world come out. <laughs> so don't open the package, all right? And if you ever get Eve's Fruit of the Month delivery, um, stick to the oranges. How much cash we plan for? Buzz in, find out. Yeah, baby. It's time for a dis or dad. The category for this dis or dad question is providing a 40-day supply of vitamin C. All right, I'm going to read off seven names. For each one, you got to tell me if it refers to a famous group of Jews or a brand of juice. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Would it be Jews or Juice? Levites. Maccabees. Mots. Ashkenazi. Moku. Six out of seven. I'll take that. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Hit that buzzer and let's check out. And the category is... The only thing grosser than marshmallows and the yams. All right, check this out. Your mom's planning a family reunion, and everyone's invited. You know, cousins, second cousins, uh, third cousins, aunts, uncles, great uncles, great great uncles, carbuncles. So anyway, what fun trick might you expect your carbuncle Bill to do? Make his gangrenous thumb split in two, play got your moles, blow bubbles from the hole in his neck, or pull a quarter out from behind his boil. 
a carbuncle is a big old nasty boil. Oh, oh, oh. Come here and give Carbuncle Bill a big hug. Oh, too big. Oh. All righty, bud. This one will be... Is that like getting the vapors? Ready, set, here you go. Consumption sumption, what's your function? Wasting away tissue and causing a cough, infecting the skin and causing boils, stimulating the brain and causing seizures, or clogging the arteries and stopping the heart. That would be no. Yeah, I thought so. Consumption, also known as tuberculosis, is a wasting disease, usually affecting the respiratory system. So instead of ring around the rosy, the kids can just sing coughing up a lung. Oh, that buzz. Feeling a little brain dead? Well, here's a clue. Dead were lying around everywhere. No, they just hang out at fish concerts. No. Ah, good luck. Almost perfect. Well, nobody's perfect, especially you. Who has time to cook? We don't. We're Sam. And Ella. And we want to invite you down to Sam, Sam and Ella's. Ella's. So you can get you and your family a good home raw meal. Sam and Ella's. Eats to salads, runny eggs and chickens. Good and raw mayo from the straw. We'll do the finger lickings. We got frog legs and yeast and dry gelatin. You puke till you puke in our dirty kitchen. Acute symptoms may last for one to two days. Or maybe prolong again depending on host factors. And strained characteristics. Salmonella's. Fill your bellies with spore-forming bacteria. Animal feces, all your favorite species. Slides down your throats like chum. Yum! How many times has this happened to you? Daddy, what's the difference between absolute and relative surplus value according to Marx? Uh, go play with this ball, honey. Middle class buffoon. Well, it won't happen again. Look what I have for you, sugar. The illustrated Das Kapital. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetie. The brightly colored pictures help me understand the general law of capitalist accumulation. Uh -huh. And the pop-up stick figures tell me all about heterogeneous and serial manufacture. Yep. There's even a scratch and sniff chapter about machinery and modern industry. That's right, honey. Daddy, you're the greatest. Now, can you tell me how the expression of female sexuality can challenge the patriarchal order? <laughs> I love you, pumpkin. The Illustrated Das Kapital. Also available, the Gross Anatomy Book of Kano Dolls and the Kama Sutra playset. This is for my Baptist minister, who instilled in me at a very young age the evils of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. This is for the kids at school, who by refusing my friendship, 
force me to adapt and infiltrate any and all social cliques. This is from my older brother, whose bad taste in music gave me a CD collection large enough to drive any person under siege insane. I'm proud to be an officer for the ATF. We raid more homes and violate more constitutional rights by 9 a.m. than most criminals do in a day. The ATF, keeping our country free for you and me. Next week on Hallie McNeil, Hallie opens up about her maternal instincts. Hallie, I had a really nice time tonight. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just the dancing embryo. He shows up whenever I feel my biological clock ticking. It looks like a sick tadpole. I know, isn't he cute? Well, I guess it's just you and me, dancing embryo. Hallie McNeil, Mondays. Time now for a page from the success journey with motivational speaker and full-time dreamer, Dr. Harvey Bass. Let me tell you the story of a small farm boy from Alaska. He grew up in poverty, often cold, often hungry, many times forced to eat his own hair for sustenance. His father, a proud man, eked out a living raising caribou and selling their hooves to be made into pencil erasers. The father expected his son to take over the family business. Well, this bright, ambitious boy had a different idea. He had what I like to call a dream. The boy, at the tender age of 12, rented a car and drove from Alaska to a small island off the coast of Florida. There, he fulfilled his dream of growing a beard, smoking big cigars, and talking in a funny accent. Yes, that man is better known to you and me as billionaire entrepreneur and respected world leader, Wilford Brimley. This has been a page from the success journey with Dr. Harvey Bass. From the pure mountain spring waters of Colorado to the whispering wheat fields of Montana comes whole natural yummy goodness. Whole natural yummy goodness comes in 846 nature bursting flavors, including brand new sparkling flavin. Whole natural yummy goodness is made with the freshest ingredients known to science. If wrapped and stored in a cool dry place, whole natural yummy goodness will become a treat passed on for generations. Whole natural yummy goodness from mother nature to your table via our laboratories. Whole natural yummy goodness from Organico and Arthur Daniels Heartland Company. Welcome aboard Advance Airlines. Sit back, relax. Our friendly flight crew will take excellent care of you. Here, sir. Your seatbelt needs to be good and tight. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you care for a foot massage? We want your flight to be an extremely pleasurable and memorable experience. I'll gladly help you stow your tray table, sir. I'll just need to sit on your lap. May I put my arm around you, sir? Would you like to join our Mile High Club? At Advance Airlines, we're getting our customers off the ground. The catcher signal called for a brush back high and inside. But when I looked down at my bracelet, I thought, what would Satan do? So I beamed him in the head and turned all the fans hot dogs into snakes. Satanco. Uh-oh, sounds like someone's drunk again. I can drive fine. Give me my key. <laughs> this week on another uproarious episode of Mean Drunk, Miriam doesn't hide David's scotch bottle well enough. I should have married your sister. <laughs> and David's boss tries to get him to help himself. Stick your 12 steps up your ass. <laughs> so tune in for another laugh-filled episode of Mean Drunk and see the show that America's bar guide called the most entertaining hour on television. The f*** you looking at. <laughs>